So first off, just some logistical stuff. I apologize that I was not around for Friday with D-Dubs last week. Uh, my uh, family is expecting another kiddo very soon, uh, and we all got COVID, so <laughs> we're all okay. Um, you know, we're all vaccinated except for my, except for Fiona, who's uh, too young. Uh, but she's okay. I'm okay. We're all out of the woods, but I just could not even fathom going live last week. And it looks like that uh, my new kiddo is coming within the next 48 hours. So I figured I'd get a little sketchbook video done and see what, see if just, you know, maybe fill in the gaps because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to go live on Friday either. So here we go. Uh, got these little stickers, uh, these little peanut stickers. They are awesome. Um, I love stickers, um, like free stickers in like stuff that I buy guitar pedals, t-shirts, whatever, it's the best. Uh, holographic 90s style Venom there. This is a band, uh, one of my favorite bands, were back in like 2009, 2010. Have Heart, a hardcore band from Massachusetts. They were awesome. I don't think they're together anymore. But uh, yeah, so this is uh, volume five, by the way. So we can see here that I was like starting to figure out how to, um, gosh, I was starting to ink more and like you saw this in uh, volume four a lot and you notice there's like these little micron marks here mixed with the kind of Pentel brush pen kind of style and you know this is like the very early stages of me kind of figuring out who I am as an artist and I know I was, I, I remember doing, reading a lot of like how-to books on comics at the time and a lot of it was, you know, if you're going to use the brush, make sure you only use the brush and you have to be consistent. If you use a tech pen, make sure that it's always the tech pen. But I always found that uh, I would just mix the lines always and that was how I was most comfortable. And it is still what I do to this day because I kind of like the hatched kind of choppy nature of it. It uh, makes me very happy. And uh, I also don't like futzing. I don't like being precious with my tools. I don't like uh, having to worry about being a certain way. I just like to go. So this is what you're seeing now, me learning how to do that a long time ago. Don't know exactly what day. This is like right around the time that I met my wife. So this is like 2010, like the summer of 2010 here. Still very into fantasy. Uh, there's a helicopter design, which is kind of cool. This is really hard to see, but I was reading a lot of Alan Howe. Um, let's see, I want to make sure that's in. So we have a kind of dragon scene. Alan Lee, John Howe. So Alan Howe, did I say Alan Howe? I meant John Lee and Alan Howe. I believe those are the two names. The uh, Lord of the Rings concept artists. Big fan of those guys. Here is a uh, me trying to do establishing shots with a helicopter. Very poorly done. I didn't like this when I did it, and I don't like it now. Uh, this is my brother Tim's drawing. He uh, loves to draw fashion stuff. Uh, and this is back. So this is oh okay. This is 2010. So I think when I started this, maybe it was 2010, and then I continued it into 2011. Here we've got a lady samurai. I actually still like this drawing. Um, not sure what I was going for, but I do like it. Oh, and I was reading a lot of the Silmarillion at this time. Uh, let's see, Finue, I don't know how to pronounce that, versus Ungolai, the giant spider, the mother of Shelob. Uh, I don't know if you can see kind of like my style coming through. I think I can see it a little bit, you know, foregroundy, full figure kind of thing, but... Yeah, that's what this is. Also, all done with like a micron, I can see. No brush at all. So I knew that if I felt like something was really cool, I wouldn't pull the brush out because I was not confident in it. Um, let's see. This is a cool design. I like this. This is kind of a rip off the uh, uh, soldiers or the, the knights that you see on top of the um, uh, uh, Minas Tirith that are protecting King Denethor. 
Here's some more kind of like very pencil sketchy, hard to see because it's so light. Let's see if I can get a better shot of that there. So I did like drawing locations. I was not very good at it, but you know, what can you do? This is uh, my one of my friend's kids. Her name was Brielle. Um, I'm not sure what this was. Mixing maybe like Mass Effect with some other, some like fantasy stuff. I'm a, I really still love this drawing. Uh, I think maybe Game of Thrones inspired. I don't know if it had come out yet. But yeah. As you could tell, I was a big fantasy nerd. I still am. I just don't draw it as much. Oh, uh, here is a little slice of life drawing. Uh, this is me and my, um, gosh, this is me and Rachel, my wife Rachel, uh, when we were just getting to know each other. We got lost trying to find the entrance to the Brown Line in Chicago. So this was the second of, this is, this is November 14th. I'm uh, sorry, not November. This was, uh... February 14th, 2011, so almost to the day. This is before we were married. I was, we were still getting to know each other. And I, I, I was smitten, guys, so uh, I drew pictures of her. What can I say? Um, I don't know what this is. I don't really like any of these. These are not very good. Moving on. Oh, Drawing Converge, one of my favorite bands. Uh, here's another slice of life thing. Rachel made me, <laughs> Rachel made me potato bacon soup and some bread and wine. And this is their crappy kitchen. She was in a ratty kind of apartment that she lived with her roommates. And it was a really special time. I'm glad that I drew this. Okay. This is more emo stuff. You'll remember my emo days. I think that's like kind of personal, so we're going to skip over that. <laughs> Here's a uh, study that I did from a Henri Cartier-Bresson. I think that's how I pronounce his name. <coughs> He's my favorite photographer. Um, here is a uh, pencil drawing of Rachel futzing with trigonometry worksheets. for. Uh, she was used to be a SAT prep teacher way back when. Let's see. Oh, I blocked this. Let's see. Did I block this off? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, sorry. So I don't want you to. I don't want to show you this because it's um. It's just too personal. I hope that's okay. Uh, here we've got another Dan and Rachel drawing. I think you're getting to see a theme here. It was a big part of my life. It still is. I don't know what it says about my sketchbooks now that I do not draw Rachel in them. Uh. I still love her very much. I just do not muse on it as much. Real life and so on. Uh, but I lo still love this drawing. Uh, let's see. What does this say? So here's the Wellington Brown Line stop. This is where Rachel lived. I would take the Brown Line there. There's a drunk man waiting for the train. Right before he gets on, he mouths, Fuck you. To me. <laughs> I remember that. He was just chilling, being drunk, and then uh, as he got on the train, he just mouthed it. But he didn't yell it, he just mouthed it. I was on the opposite side of the track, so. Some more Henri Cartier-Bresson stuff. Uh, this is kind of weird, but kind of cool. I'm going to zoom in here because I, I still love this drawing. This one is fine. It's not great. It's whatever. It's funny, I remember most of the drawings that I really loved when I drew them back then, I love still, and the drawings that I hated back then, I still hate. Oh, this is kind of cool. I remember for some reason I was like kind of into noir stuff at the time, as well as fantasy stuff and kind of mixing of the two. Uh, so you can kind of see, I'm pretty sure I aped this from a Guillermo de Toro thing. Uh, so kind of a noir, kind of sketchy thing. Again, not really uh, inking or 
worrying about that whatsoever. So let's see. Uh, drawing Rachel when we were in church. A guy approaching a tower. Some sort of Bible related drawing, maybe. Not sure. This I drew on a, an envelope that I liked and I ripped it out, pasted it on here. Uh, I guess this is, speaks for itself. So every once in a while you hang out in church and there's a, just a really boring ass sermon. So I would, I always, I would always draw in church, always. Let's see. Oh, uh, here is, uh, this is like a cool, this is like one of the bases for my character Alpheus. Uh, he doesn't look anything like him now, but when I first started drawing him, he was like this. This is me when I got a, uh, ablation in 2011. I had a heart murmur, like, uh, I had superventricular tachycardia, tachycardia all through high school and college, and I finally had to get it dealt with in May of 2011. And, uh, they have to put an IV in me. Hold on. <laughs> So I remember drawing, well, right before they rolled me to surgery, so, uh, yeah, this is a great drawing, actually. That's cool, right? Back, and don't remember this, I remember that hand, his hand is way too small. I knew there was something wrong with it at the time, that's why I erased it, but I could not figure out why. So here's another, it's like really tiny. For those of you that all that were reading Space Mullet way back in the day, uh, Alpheus's design looked more like this, kind of like more of a um, tendrilly mouth kind of thing before I updated it. And that's what's in the trade paperback, which is out and about. Uh, but on the website, in the webcomic when I was first making it, he looked way more alieny and less charactery. So, one of the first drawings ever of Alpheus from Space Mullet. Here is a uh, kind of cool drawing. No, I don't like this. Not good. Oh, here we go. Don't worry, Alpheus. We'll find her. Oh, sorry. There's the whole page, but look at that drawing. I love that sketch. So I guess Alpheus was going to be, uh, or I, I liked the name Alpheus a lot. I didn't know what to call him at the time, and then I just did this for no reason, like just called this character Alpheus. And I was like, I actually like the name for this guy. And then I started making Alpheus the character. So, again, experimenting with brushes. This was a terrible job, a terrible drawing back then, it's a terrible drawing now. It's funny how they do or do not age well. Um,. Trying to get down muscles here. Doesn't look that great, but is what it is. My, I don't know why I drew foreheads gargantuan. Look how big that forehead is. Yeah. Let's see. This is May 3rd. My dad had to get sur uh, uh, surgery. Uh... My dad had to get surgery, emergency surgery, uh, while we were on vacation in Maine. It was really scary, so I was kind of channeling that. And this is the first time that I visited Rachel at her, her parents' house. The first time I met her parents. This is a this is in West Bend, Wisconsin, and they had kind of like a tree outside with a little bit of land in the back, and one of those little VHS. Uh, screw to the wall thingies of their TV and I just was wasn't busy one afternoon. And I drew this so Still like this drawing a lot I'm Not sure what this is. And I don't like this drawing moving on This is me as a hospital transporter feeling bad about myself, so I'm, I'm holding a katana I'm sorry Ugh. I definitely had reference for this. I think it was maybe from a magazine or a, a something. 
but I still really like that drawing. Oh, geez. More emo, Dan and Rachel art. What can I say? I wear my heart on my sleeve or on my t-shirt if I draw it. Um, predator drawing is kind of cool. Don't like that drawing. I like, actually, I like this part, but I don't like the rest of it. It's actually not terrible. I like this drawing, actually. Again, the brush rarely would come out. Uh, because uh, I knew if I liked something, I didn't want to mess with it. In Volume 6, yes, in Volume 6, which is right next to me, actually, I, uh, I really push it on the brushes, and it's when I really start to push myself, and you can, I can start to see some real growth in my progress, but I was not quite there yet. Still like this drawing, still love this drawing, a little Gandalf drawing, so I'm going to zoom in a little here. It's just really nice. I really like that. I love that hand. I loved that hand back then, too. All the way back in 2011. It is time to feed legs way too long. It's fine. No big deal. God damn. So we know. Rachel's feet. A converged drawing. Thank you, Jacob Bannon, for all the great music. Oh, this is kind of cool. Starting to play with location and scale, and I can see myself pushing myself in the best way, and it really makes me happy. Got some samurai drawings here. Frustrated with this. I wanted this to be good so bad. I gave up on it. Oh. Here we can see a little bit of growth with uh, my kind of like the way I like compose a lot of shots that I draw. And I still really like this. I liked it back then too. I think this is pretty cool. Never finished it though. I think I knew this looked stiff, you know, with the way he was holding the blade, and uh, I got frustrated, but I, I still like it. I like it now. Oh, this is cool. I like this. I was happy with her face. Now I realize how wonky it is, but it's still pretty neat. Some more noir stuff. Not sure what that is, just goofing off. Guy, I had reference for that. I had reference for all these. I think maybe it was a National Geographic magazine? Just kind of messing around with Batman. Oh, here's... Cool. Well, maybe not. Definitely inspired by the Wolves of St. August here. Uh, but all with, you know, a little Micron again. Being too precious for myself. This was a uh, National Geographic referenced head, and I was just making up the rest. Gosh, I think that might be it. Yep. So there's uh, volume five. I'll give you a little, show you what volume six looked like. This is volume six, this will be next. Can't wait to show you. And hopefully I'll get to that sooner rather than later. Take care, everybody.